let's uh let's get this thing going you're my poker hero oh thank you sir thank you very much and i mean that from the bottom of my heart one you're on poker sesh hey man hey how's it going good how you doing who's this I'm doing well. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm over in San Francisco. Okay. Uh, I have I have a random question, not related to Melanie, because okay. I, I know nothing about that. Uh, I'm starting a home game. Is there any <laughs> advice? <laughs> Wait, I, I I got this whole fucking show thing going. About uh, Melanie. I, I hope that Melanie is listening to this because she will see what the fuck I'm dealing with here. We, we, I spent a half an hour listening to Todd fucking Metellus download in my ear a million words an hour. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then I answer the phone and the first person wants to know if I like black chicks. And the second guy's like, can you help me with my home game? Jesus fucking Christ. I've, I'm, I'm trying to take this serious. Okay. Um, just, okay, it, please, sir, I, I want to answer your question about home no games. Way. Um, uh, call in in like a half hour, all right? <laughs> Seriously, all right. listen to no, the no. fucking show and be on topic, all right? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, sir. I can't wait for this call. I just cannot wait. I'm a bated breath at 7.01 p.m., bated breath. All right, thank you. Thank you. One hour later... I, don't worry, guys, that I'm getting off track with these calls because I'm going to tie this thing up in a bow. 831, you're on Poker Sesh. You, you said you would wait with a uh, bated breath. With who? With a bated breath uh, yes. for my, my question about home games. Oh, no, no. no. Eight, oh, God, no. Please, fucking God, no. <laughs> okay, eight, three, I can't take it right now. I even gave you 10, I give you 10 extra minutes. Okay, I will say something about Melanie okay, uh, please, that please. I thought was interesting. Um... I, I agree with your conclusion that there was a possibility of personality sway and some some drinking the Kool Aid when they because I've seen that in, in other uh, be mini, it, uh, essential oils classes or right. uh, mini businesses you know, mini cult. mini mini businesses every fucking pyramid scheme on the planet had smart people doctors yeah. lawyers yes, I agree. financial analysts that that drank the Kool Aid and got fooled every business in the world and poker is the easiest if i wanted to scam okay. poker players i'd be a fucking billionaire <laughs> they're just the dumbest they're just the most gullible people if you feed their egos a little because they, they want to believe that they're super fucking important poker players want to believe yep. more than anything that they're super fucking important all right so but whatever moving on okay okay you have anything else no nah. Uh, call, yeah. call in about your home game next week, and I'll spend the whole hour with you. How about that? <laughs> All right. Thank you, right. everyone. Okay. Right. Uh, so Three weeks later. <laughs> and I, I, I was right in the middle of a very important point. I've got the founder of Red Chip Poker on the phone. He will answer any question you have. Normally, you have to pay hundreds of dollars for this. We've got it for free right now. Caller. Yeah. Eight three one, eight three one. You're on poker sesh. Hey, so uh, I wanted to ask about hosting a home game. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I, you turn know, down, I called like a month your, ago. Turn down your 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 TV or whatever you're watching this on. I can hear myself. Oh, it's I turned it off. Months. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, what's your question? Yeah, I called him like a month ago, and you told me to call back, and then you said that I had to call back again, and right. you said you would spend a whole week talking to me. I'm a very busy, uh, a very busy, a very important <laughs> man. <Yeah. laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, um, what's, no, what's your I question? actually just wanted to. I actually just wanted to comment and say thanks for the conversation. The whole well, thank you. Thank going you back much. to people are thank people are much. going to go to their comfort zone when they're gonna. Right. When they're in the top spot, yes, that's so, true. I mean, I totally got my ass handed to me, uh, basically because of that. Like, I knew I had I had my mark on two players, right? And and I, of course, the one fucking hand that decided the big hand that I played was against you know a tight but really good player on my left. And right. so, of course, 
of course, I ended up handing it to him. Right. I wasn't paying enough attention to the game. But right. yeah, so going back to going back to that, like I, I appreciate your guys' feedback, and I, I assume that it's going to make me more money in the long run. Okay. <laughs> Thank um, you. Yeah. Thank you for thanking me. No, yeah, I, I know. Too. And there's a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of the trollers asking about I don't know um, bubble. Uh, what is that? that, that bubble gum. Bubble, oh, Hubba Bubba? Bubba? Bubble. Yeah, that was Hubba you. Bubba? That was you that one no, time. Right? No? no, it was not me. It was a caller before. Okay. <laughs> so, w- what's your question about private games? I know a lot about these things, so I could probably help you. Oh, okay. Um, one thing is, I you know, sometimes they're small-handed, like, you know, four to five people. Right. Uh, so, I was thinking of introducing, like, either PLO or No Limit Law. Uh, uh, in order to try to get a little bit more action hand for hand, right? Do you think that's a good idea, or do you think if you're good, you if, just if you're if you're good at those games, it's a very, very, very good idea. Very good <laughs> idea. Yeah. If you're bad at them, yeah. uh, probably not such a good idea. <laughs> um, uh, uh, p- introducing PLO to a private game or a home game is. Just like it's like catnip for gamblers. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take the game out of the muck all the time. The game's gonna get crazy all the time. The best way to introduce it is to say, let's play half and half. We'll play one okay. round of PLO and then we'll play one round of Hold'em. And what you're gonna find okay. is ninety percent of the time, there are within two rounds they get rid of the Hold'em. <laughs> so a hundred percent. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll just chime I just chime in like uh, one thing mm-hmm. you could do too is like try to be like especially when people are stuck like just be like hey do you guys want to play PLO right like trust mm-hmm. me it'll always work if you just say hey like around twelve you guys think you want to play PLO right it'll always happen mm-hmm. because like people are stuck they're trying to get unstuck they want right. to play PLO it'll always happen and it's one hundred percent with Lyman so too like. Nobody wants to go back to hold them after playing PLO. No, <laughs> never. Thing ever. That like, that stream only like, moves one direction. <laughs> and nobody's gonna play PLO, and then there's these huge pots, and then now we're back to folding. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. It doesn't have yeah. that. So yeah, it's a good idea. If you're good at the game, or at least better than them, hundred percent do it. Yeah. Anything, okay. anything? Uh, I mean, this is this is super low limits. Like we're paying for you know max thirty dollar buy-in. Like we're not. We're just playing. Uh, uh, it's mostly playing for fun and bringing friends together. So it's not necessarily like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make a bunch of money. I'm trying to figure out a way to make it entertaining for the people who are there. Okay, it's more entertaining oh, too. Hundred yeah. percent more entertaining. <laughs> okay, so, so, and then yeah, uh, any any suggestions on chipsets now that Paulson has stopped their consumer line? Here, I oh oh oh, this is great. This is a great question. Th- hey, thanks, Adrian. I'll give you the best suggestion ever on chipsets. This goes out to mm-hmm. everybody. Here's how you make a chipset. Where do you live, 831? Where is that? Uh, California. California. San Francisco. Right San Francisco. Okay. So you go to a couple different casinos in San Francisco, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe one in Vegas when you're on a Vegas trip. And yeah, I've, I've been over to Vegas a couple of times. And you just buy a rack of 50 cent or a dollar chips. They're cheaper than what you're going to pay from the gaming establishment, from the people who built, make the chips. Yeah. And they're going to be real casino chips, okay? Huh. Now, so you buy, in California, the whites are, the $1 are white in some places and they're blue in other uh-huh. places. So you buy a rack yeah. of white ones, you buy a rack <laughs> of, blue, you buy a rack of blue ones, and you buy a mm-hmm. rack of 50, 50 cent chips because those are pink. So now you got white chips, blue chips, and pink chips. On your next trip yeah. to Vegas, you buy one rack of of the bright orange uh, dollar chips at uh, they got bright orange dollar chips at like Harris. Now you got white chips, blue chips, pink chips, and orange chips, right? Interesting. Now you paid the exact same amount that you're going to pay from the people who sell the chips. Actually, you're going to pay less. All right. Yeah. And here's the best part. When your mm-hmm. game breaks and nobody wants to fucking play poker with you anymore, you just <laughs> you just go cash them in. <laughs> That's pretty smart, dude. They cost you fucking uh, zero. 
Every dude who runs a home game has a bunch of chips sitting around their goddamn house they don't want anymore. Because what do you do with them once your friends don't want to play poker with you anymore because you want all their money, you know, or whatever, or they all got married, or they all had kids? Mm -hmm. You just fucking go back to the casino and cash them in. That's great. There you go. <laughs> that's great. Lyman pays, baby. Awesome. Lyman pays. Thank you that's, very much. That's th pretty awesome. Thank you very, thank you very much, A31. The chat's been great. The calls have been great. Uh, this is the best audience in poker. And uh, that's going to do it for the night. I'm going to go back to my vacation here and enjoy the Russian River and the, the foliage behind me. Mm -hmm.